Thank you, Victoria. Now, our number is still revolving above my head. Up there, it's still uh, 08457 910 910. And if that way of donating doesn't tickle your donating fancy, why don't you go online on our website, bbc.co.uk slash sportrelief. Now, uh, sit back and get ready. It's time for our world-exclusive David Beckham interview. And we would like to point out that we actually recorded this before certain events occurred, uh, i.e., shocking swift refereeing decisions and allegedly exploding penalty spots. I thank you. Good evening. I'm not Martin Bashir. And you can forget Parky and Wassy. No, it's yours truly, one manager here, isn't it, wasn't it? Mm, you know, marvellous. <laughs> the new king of chat. I've moved effortlessly from the alpha male world of soccer and smelly dressing rooms into the slightly fey, <laughs> limp-wristed world of Del Winton and light entertainment. But, you know, Martin Bashir would certainly murder me to be here tonight interviewing my guest as he flutters his not inconsiderable eyelashes in my direction and expects me to believe any old guff he comes out with. And do you know what? I will believe it all. For my guest tonight here on Sport Relief is <laughs> David Beckham! Ha-ha! Now, David, before we start, I just want to put you at your ease. I'm not here to make you look stupid. I can do that myself, Ron. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, exactly. Yes, exactly. Now, moving on, aren't we? As a black man, were you offended by Big Ron's racist outburst? I'm not black. Ha-ha! Uh -huh. No. I can see it. You said it and I can see it. Don't forget where you heard it first. He's not black! <laughs> but you know what, David? Like you, I love black music. 50 Cent, isn't it? He's in the club, isn't he? Well, <laughs> apart from when he's not. You don't get a dollar out of me. I'm a G-I-M-P. <laughs> and do you know that his real name is Arthur Dollar? <laughs> now, recently, Sir David, you were credited with... Uh... I'm not a sir. Pardon? I'm not a sir. What, you're just plain David? Yeah, just plain David. Oh, all oh, right, I see. Well then, David, not <laughs> Sir David, just plain, ordinary, Leighton Stone David. You were recently on the cover of Vanity Fair, the first football to achieve that feat since Ian Dowie five years ago, isn't it? Oh, what other magazines would you like to be on the cover of, or would we have to invent a new magazine because you've done the lot? <laughs> Don't you think that people are getting a teeny, 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 teeny little weeny bit <laughs> bored with you, Bexy? Not as bored as people are with you, Ron. Oh, oh lucky I've got a sense of humour, isn't it? Wasn't it? <laughs> now, of all the things that you've been called, David, and there must have been many things that have hurt, especially recently, Perhaps the most offensive, while at Royal Madrid, is Galactico. <laughs> what is the worst thing you've been called? I'm not sure, but I think my wife will have a few. <laughs> I bet she does. Now, I spent one season at Pretend Madrid. There certainly weren't any Galacticos there, no, only donkeys. And we all know that donkeys don't last long in Spain. Hmm? <laughs> Isn't it? Now, um, at Madrid, the reputations are huge, the egos are immense. Who would you say has the biggest profile in the showers? Um, I think I can hold my own. Oh, <laughs> cheeky boy! Mm? What is that high-pitched beeping noise? Are you trying to string another sentence together? Sorry, Ron, it's another text message. <laughs> Crikey. Oh, oh, oh. Crikey indeed. In the words of the godfather of soul, David, you're a text machine, aren't you? But can you please stop having textual intercourse while I'm interviewing you, or you'll get more than a boot thrown at your bonce? Crikey, that's my phone. Oh, you've texted me, you crazy modern boy. You want me to do what? <laughs> I don't even have one. <laughs> now, there's always a tremendous amount of speculation about you and your next move, David, but is there a chance that we'll see you in the Premiership? And how do you think you'll cope with the culture shock and the language barrier? You what? <laughs> now, what does the future hold for you, David? Hard to say, not with Ron 
crystal balls manager. Gaze into my balls, David. Gaze and speculate on your future. Hmm? Perhaps you might want to concentrate on a little matter called football. I mean, after the roar of the crowd subsides and the lucrative sponsorship deals dry up, what next? Management, perhaps. Do you have any ambitions in that area, isn't it? Or do you hope someone invents, I don't know, a new type of biscuit, for example, and asks you to promote it? Um... Come on, David! Biscuits or management? <laughs> Definitely have to ask Victoria for Oh, that. for God's sake, man. Have you got no independence? Well, <laughs> since you've mentioned her, what about Victoria? I can see her turning around the fortunes of, say, I don't know, Manchester City or maybe Wolverhampton Wanderers. She's got a lot of talents, but I'm not sure they lie in football. Hmm. You know, David, you practically are a girl, but if you really were and you fell pregnant after the attentions of some rogue male footballer, would you choose a caesarean or natural childbirth? I'm definitely too posh to push. <laughs> oh, cheeky boy again. Now, I'm a cheeky girl and you're a cheeky boy. Touch my bum, isn't it? Marvellous. <laughs> now, David, I'm a spiritual man. I often wake up in the morning and get down on my knees and thank the Lord for anodin extra. Is there anything that you thank the Lord for in the mornings? My wife and my children. <laughs> I just want to kiss him. Now, on a lighter note, Bexy, Bexy Wexy, ha -ha, do you do any impressions? I can do a good David Beckham. Really? My best position is central midfield as a playmaker, not stuck out on the right. Where I really was successful. <laughs> can I have a go, young man? Thank you. A lot of ladies would like to be doing this, wouldn't they? <laughs> Marvellous. We're like two beautiful dolphins who break it away from the school and are basking playfully with each other. <laughs> Finally, it's marvellous that you're here lending a hand to sport relief like this, but at best, charity is only a stopgap measure and some would say actually prolongs injustice and poverty. Don't they? Don't you think the world's problems might be better solved by overthrowing the bourgeoisie, seizing control of the means of production, establishing Soviets and the dictatorship of the proletariat? You want some more helium, Ron? Oh, you are a crazy bald funster, but I'm not an addict. Thank you, David. Straight man, family man, husband, gay man, white man, black man. Don Juan, stupid boy, Captain Courageous, model, footballer, ambassador and galactico. But most of all, thank you, David Beckham, human being. Isn't it? Marvellous. <laughs>...divested himself of his dignity and did jokes about naughty phone sex and high-pitched voices... ...was to get you to call tonight, and this is the reason why. <laughs>